What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, what's going on, folks? Back in the building. Doing another video for y'all good people. Today I'm going to talk about how stingrays are really deadly. Now, y'all, you good folks may not know this, but this Senate Judiciary hearings might come about this, what I'm talking about, which they found out recently. They found out that the IRS has revealed the use of stingray uh, cell phone, you know, trackers. The, the trackers don't work with the, like they, like I said, they, they, they track the trackers. But the problem with these stingray trackers for your cell phone is they don't discriminate when they gather info on a cell phone of regular schmucks you know, who happen to be in the area. Like I said, there's a lot of information. But it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, um, it doesn't, everybody's getting grounded up. Let's look at they could be having a, they could have a target, say they have a target in your a plaza in your downtown, maybe you're parking, maybe it's crowded festival. Well, in that, in that area, they're, they're getting that guy, they're also getting everybody else in the area, so it doesn't discriminate. It, it's like a, it's, it's a cell phone track. And uh, some, uh, some centers feel that uh, there has to be some violation of free, free freedom of, you know, of, of freedom. Which nowadays the mess is America, so we gave up most of our freedoms when we saw the Patriot Act. But uh, they're trying to say that it's some, some violation of freedom, and our law, they want law enforcement to take down criminals when they want any info coming from everyday citizens. And if it's, if it's the stingray trackers work like that, the IRS is looking at everything. Trust me. I ask, these guys aren't stupid over there at the IRS. I have so much respect for the IRS. I have, I have myself situations. Uh, I'll tell you one situation. I might have talked about before. I filled up my taxes, and I do my own taxes. And like I said, I have a business, so I'm turning in like, let me see, I'm turning in pages. This is the, this. I'm turning in, my tax return looks like this. that thick because I have uh, like I said I all my equipment uh, I got my, my business card like I said you see me driving around with the with the advertising was on everything and like I said you got to report everything you got to keep all your receipts that's that's vital so and like I said I keep all my receipts copies over them on the computer and I make sure they're all clear whenever they get so one time uh, I actually, this is, this is my fault. I, I copped to it. Because uh, it was my fault. What I did is, it's, I made a mistake and put, when it says tax, well, how much tax have you paid? I put zero. And then, uh, at first I wondered, I said, my, 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 my tax refund looks a little outrageous. And I wasn't, didn't think about it at the time. I was like, God, I'm in, in, second to there. About three three weeks later, I get this bill from the government saying, "You owe us X amount of dollars in taxes." And like I said, I'm a, I'm a skilled trade, so and I'm not I'm decently paid. So I look at that tax, I'm like, "Oh hell no!" I'm like, "I pay my fucking taxes." I went back and got my my um my job my my got these my job my stubs excuse me I got copies of my stubs I, I still had W2s because like luckily you can do a lot of shit on the computer with your taxes and I still had that so I had everything up and I'm like yeah I paid fucking taxes what, 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 they told me? what the fuck they talking about so what you do is let me I'm a schmuck so I'm not no tax preparer I'm not no tax legal schmeagle. I'm just a regular schmuck like you guys. So what you want to do in that situation 
first of all, find out what you did. And I would find out what you did. And what I did is I found the mistake I made on my tax form. I went to my tax form. I saw. I went down. I said, "Was it?" I went through every. I went through every one. I got the tax. I looked over. I put zero. I said, "Oh, that's where it was." So what I did is I, I printed off a new tax form. I filled it out. I printed the old one out, and I I, I, I printed out all my receipts. I got my receipts, and I mailed it all together. I, 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 I did. I did an inquiry. What I did is I wrote a letter saying I want to contest this because I actually paid my taxes and I admitted where my, my mistake was on the section, whatever, whatever. Here's what it should have been, X, Y, Z. And I said, here's my, here's my last pay stub to prove it, and here's my tax information to prove it. And so, once I did that, it took, took them like two weeks. Two, it took them like two or three weeks for me to get that judgment back. But within them two or three weeks, they were sending me a letter every week telling how penalties were going to compound. And I'm like, well, you know, take it out of my refund. Well, lucky me, it got settled and, you know, I, you know, it got settled. But I was right, they just paid me what I had to get paid and we were good to go. So I know how the IRS works a little. As far as stuff like that, but uh, as far as as far as these stingrays, if the IRS wants you, it's gonna be damned to everybody who's walking around in that area. Uh, look, this is we're talking about the federal government here. Like a lot of you people, here's the problem: with a lot of you people, you think you're dealing with the state government. The state government will play with you. The federal government don't play with you. You know what? The federal government has the money. The federal government doesn't have to make deals with you. If they offer you outside of snitching on somebody. If they offer you a deal to get you out of your ass, get your ass clean, and you're not snitching on nobody, it is what it is. So, stingrays have been used without search warrants. You know what I'm gonna say? Like I said, the, but the IRS can cover this up by saying, "Well, it's all the Patriot Act, and there's a lot of domestic terrorism." Because you notice, it's, it's the, the Patriot is used mostly for domestic terrorism. They're not used for like international terrorism anymore. It's used for myself and you. So we're gonna see how these guys go. But man, these stingrays are kind of well. You know, this probably one of these senators probably got their little dirty secrets got put out there. And one of the IRS guys said, "Hey, Senator Salsa, you might need to watch for just just that there because we just picked it all up." And then, it's, and then he told Senator Sean, so hey man, you need to go talk about this because X, Y, Z, and now it's a big mess. Because no, any other time, these senators don't give two rats asses about our lives. So, I'm out of here, peace. But think about those stingrays and watch what you say on the cell phone. Bastards.